Hi, we're Pam and Gilbert of Two Bikes for Adventure. We've been impressed with the convenience of folding bikes for a long time, and we know we're not alone. Recently, the Wirecutter product review site revealed the winner of its best folding bicycle evaluation. Their research focused on two types of folding bike users. The commuter, whose bike needs to be small and light enough to carry in train or bus and be comfortable enough for occasional longer rides. The casual rider, or RV or boat owner, who mostly takes short rides around town and would benefit from a small footprint in storage. With these use cases in mind, they identified the following selection criteria. 16 to 20 inch wheels for the best compromise between comfort and portability. Six to eight gears to tackle modest hills and bridges. Equipped with a rack, fenders, and regular chained drivetrain. They chose a dozen bicycles from nine manufacturers and put them through 25 kilometer test rides. When they compiled the results, they declared the Dahome Mariner their top pick for the second time in a row. Dahome has been making folding bikes for 40 years. In fact, my first folding bike was an internal hub Dahome Vitesse V5, so we're quite familiar with the brand. We were therefore pleased to accept Dahome's invitation to test drive this year's top pick winner and provide our own evaluation. The Mariner has been available for more than 15 years. We see it here in a 2008 catalog. Initially intended for boaters, thus the Mariner name, it was designed to be particularly rust resistant. Through the years and throughout constant improvements, its easy fold, robustness, and full bike ride characteristics made it the best seller it is today. When ordered online, the bicycle comes almost ready to ride, packed in a box weighing 16 kilograms. After removing the protective packaging held with zip ties and tape, very little assembly is required. Basically, only inserting the seat post and installing the right pedal with a 15 mm wrench. The instruction manual included with the bike contains a checklist to perform prior to the first ride. Anyone who's not confident performing the assembly or going through the checklist could order their bike from a local bike shop to ensure that all is safe. With its adjustable seat and stem, the Mariner can accommodate riders from 145 to 190 centimeters. The seat and stem clamp tension is easy to adjust for the height range and requires no tools. Its reach and adjustable stack dimensions place the Mariner somewhere between a similarly priced hybrid bike and a city bike. The 58 centimeter handlebar equipped with ergonomic grips and the 1025 millimeter wheelbase contribute to its full size feel when riding. The provided Dahon seat is surprisingly comfortable, and Gilbert was impressed with it. I still prefer my hornless saddle, which would be quick to install on the Mariner seat post. Other standard features include SKS fenders, a chain guard, and a kickstand. The main frame is sturdy, and we didn't notice any flexing. The top handlebar assembly may have some lateral movement when under higher force, when going uphill for example. It's important to ensure the handlebar and stem height clamps are tightened adequately to prevent unwanted movement. The Mariner is equipped with a trigger shifter, a nice upgrade from the twist shift found on the previous generation D7. Coupled with Shimano Altus 8 gear derailleur, it provides a smooth shifting experience, especially compared to the higher end folding bike we usually ride. It is also far superior to competitors using the lower end Shimano Tourney. The 30 to 90 gear inch range is more than adequate for urban cycling and the occasional hill or bridge. The first gear is 10% lower than the runner-up Turn Link D8 at 33 to 87 and the Brompton 6 speed at 33 to 98. My granny gear can never be too low. The eight gears are well spaced and I had no problem finding the right one to keep my desired cadence. The only drawback with the setup, as with all 20 inch bikes with derailleurs, is the vulnerability of the cage plate, which is positioned close to the ground compared to a full-size bike. In spite of this issue, the Mariner's derailleur is more efficient and lighter than an internal hub. Finally, there are fairly good bearings on the pedals, which can be a weak point on folding bikes. The 110 mm V-brakes installed at the front and rear feel robust, are easy to modulate, and provide enough braking power for a fully loaded bike. When braking at higher speed, we felt a slight vibration in the front wheel, but it wasn't a problem. The bike comes with comfortable 42406 Schwalbe Citizen tires with a maximum inflation pressure of 65 PSI 
and a puncture protection rating of three. The Mariner is based on the classic mid-fold design. When folded, the stem is tucked between the two wheels, so it won't swing free. Some other mid-fold bikes, such as the Turn Link, fold the stem on the outside and require a strap to hold it in place. It's too bad the drivetrain is not also inside the fold to prevent possible stains or damage. Very few bikes are configured with the drivetrain inside the fold, and those are in a higher price range. A magnet at the rear ensures the bike stays folded when carried. Folding and unfolding are simple enough, and with a little practice can be done in less than 30 seconds. The folded dimension and a weight of 12 kilograms put it somewhere in the middle of the pack of the bicycles evaluated. Like all 20 inch midfold bicycles, it could be awkward to carry over a long distance. Using a strap, a carry bag, or a specially designed landing gear could help in moving the folded bike around. For air travel, some disassembling would be required to fit inside a regular suitcase, not unlike our birdie shown here in a 29 inch Samsonite Oyster. Some specially designed hard cases are available for 20 inch folding bikes, like this one that we own, or Dahon's latest folding air porter case. The original Dahon cardboard box could also be used. All these solutions exceed the 62 linear inch limit and may trigger extra fees depending how strictly the airline enforces its luggage policy. The supplied rear rack, rated for 10 kilograms, has a removable bungee to secure parcels. The chain stay is long enough to install small panniers like the Ortlib front roller, with low risk of heel strike depending on the shoe size. It's also easy to install a standard rear rack bag like the Vincita Nash. To carry gear on the front of the bike, the Mariner front head tube has brazon mounts compatible with the ClickFix adapter as well as the Dahon and Turn proprietary adapters. Using the Dahon Quick Coupler, it's possible to convert any bag into a bicycle front bag, but it may require a little DIY effort. Alternatively, third-party suppliers provide low-cost adapters to install a standard Brompton front carrier block on a Dahon bicycle, thus giving access to the Brompton luggage ecosystem. That's probably the route we would take. Finally, the top tube is equipped with a brazon for a water bottle cage. The longevity and wide distribution of the Dahol Mariner is reassuring in an environment where many bottles come and go. While we haven't had this particular bike long enough to have any mechanical issues, our previous Dahol was very reliable, only needing a rear spoke replacement and occasional readjusting of clamp tension, in addition to regular maintenance. The wide choice of compatible 20-inch tires and use of non-proprietary parts for brakes and gears should facilitate maintenance at home as well as abroad. This bicycle should give many seasons of good service and keep its resale value. Once the Schwalbe Citizen tires need replacing, upgrading to wider Schwalbe Big Apples or more puncture-resistant Schwalbe Marathons would likely be rewarding. We were pleased to re-experience 20-inch folding bike riding. We like the striking appearance of our Mariner's brushed silver frame and black edition type seat post crank set and stem, although we fear that with repeated use, scratches may become obvious. A 20-inch bike can never be as compact as a 16-inch bike when folded, even at a similar weight. It does, however, offer a ride that more closely resembles a conventional size bicycle, while still being capable of being carried inside a train, RV, or boat. Its larger wheels and wider tires can cope with the damaged street surfaces or gravel paths better than its smaller cousins. We can even see its potential for moderate touring. The Mariner offers commuters and casual riders the features they're looking for at a very convenient price. No wonder it's the most popular folding bike in the U.S. A Daha Mariner? Why not?